Hey guys, my name is Kyoko and welcome to my Source of Wild fashion channel. Here are some outfits for 2020. New styles, new trends, the year. We all managed to keep our New Year's resolutions. Boom, boom, chick, let's hit it before I say anything else awkward. To start off 2020, I decided to go with a very simple white turtleneck combo with a skirt and a pair of high boots. To swap out the black generic turtleneck that I've been wearing all 2019 with something white and a bit more feminine and elegant. This next outfit is all about the color palette. I literally loved matching all the same colors but with like different shades. So like a bunch of oranges, tan, peach, and then spicing it up with different textures. And if you're skeptical about orange is the new black on steroids, then don't worry because I've seen it popping up a lot in the last couple of weeks of the year. So 2020 will be golden as a sunset. And you're probably wondering why I'm not wearing the scarf like a traditional normal human being. And that's probably because I'm not a traditional normal human being. I don't think anyone is. I think we're all kidding ourselves. Having the scarf bundled around your neck or having it hanging across your chest, I feel like would just ruin the shape and make it all a bit busy. Blouses are so freaking cute. Every brand has them, everyone owns them. They're not crazy expensive. And this one has a little old person bow and is actually my Japanese grandmother's. But fiddling with like the colors here too, I wanted to add some like simple, very cute and sleek white heels with the Japanese purple gold beaded clutch. Adding the leather jacket just makes this outfit so classy like you'd find someone walking down Paris wearing the same combos. Another note, matching leathers and matching textures and then shaping it up with different colors is another way to go about 2020. And uh, voila, a very simple doorbell outfit for all. <laughs> so this is pretty much just an outfit to express. Well, the fact that you can do multiple things with a pair of knee-high boots, jewelry, and other things in your wardrobe. I was just excited about having puffy skirts in my life again and not looking like a child sort of. Instead of wearing the skirt on my waist, I pulled it up high underneath the non-existent bra line, giving it a different shape that frankly looks more childish again. Scrunching up the boots, they look remotely like the leg warmers I wish I owned. Because the outfit colors are pretty simple, I wanted to give it something a little extra by wearing this necklace around my ankle. This would obviously work better with an anklet. Moink. This outfit could have really easily been a Sharon Tate outfit, so I added some little heels instead to make it chicer and white socks to bounce it up to chic preppy and then adding a beret to make it ultimate chic. <laughs> well, uh, I was sticking with the whole match concept so I got another neutral color, brown, but this one's obviously a little bit more pigmented. I kind of like this color anyway. Voila, it's a very simple, doable outfit for all. Sometimes I feel like I get sick of wearing, you know, your typical styled skirts. I really adore these like bigger, longer skirts and I wish I had more of them, but they are normally a little bit more like expensive because it's just bigger. Because I'm bored to death with matching the skirt with like a typical, you know, princess white like, crop, floral shirts, pretty heels, I decided to shake it up a little. Wearing two natural brownish um, pieces and then just having the skirt as the pop. The hair had to be up too because the shapes would have just been, you know, wild and gnarly and just a mess. Like me in 2019 and not like me in 2020. Altogether, I think I nailed a version of a Roman holiday with Audrey Hepburn. Another obsession that is gradually growing more and more is pencil skirts. Maybe not this length, maybe a little bit longer and like different colors. I've been seeing like popping up a lot. Use what you've got. For this outfit, I wanted to do something red again. Red used to be this like go-to color that just got boring and generic and disappeared. Now it's like finally sort of coming back and is a little bit interesting again. With the white socks, I think it just makes all the colors so bold and crisp and I needed to accessorize the headscarf because the, outfits person the outfit personally wasn't feminine enough. I think this is my favorite outfit out of all of them. I'm obsessed with like elegant outfits and this one screams grace. Like the shapes are all very long, you know, having the long tight pencil skirt, the long boots. And some might hate the idea of like busying up the legs, but the more ruffled it looks is sort of like the style right now. Kind of like the concept of a stylish messy bun. This top gives elegance the kind of pop it needs to keep it interesting and the off shoulder look shows off the collarbone, which is very feminine despite the edgy tattoo print. <laughs> to make pops, you literally just need to bring something that clashes or doesn't match in colors, shapes, you name it. Anyway, I also wanted to match this headscarf in at some point. Some people think it's too much and I get that, but 
I don't know, I feel like it's very French and kind of edgy. I dig it. If you watch some of my other videos, you've probably seen this dress. I'm just gonna link it in right here. And I never wear it clothes just because it's very big and doesn't give me like any figure at all. But that is exactly what I'm going for in this look. It is such a great regurgitation art concept, having like a bunch of no longer used shirts and putting them together, saving the world, shirt by shirt. <laughs> Okay, that's enough. If I had money, I would have totally gone for something more like, um, what's the word? Uh, puffy. And they just have my like little legs sticking out with like a simple pair of black shoes. Pretty much just anything big, childish, or obnoxious on the top that just sucks it in all at the bottom. Funny story, my mum literally throws clothes at me sometimes when she gets bored of it, and this I would never have bought because I wasn't really down with like the thin fabric and I felt like it might have been tacky but the shape of it is sort of like Asian with a little bit of like a graceful thing with a trail. I struggled so much because I had the shapes I just didn't have like the colors and I wanted to pair it like with the suit pants underneath with a simple heel but I only had these pants so it weirdly weirdly worked. <laughs> two blues, two peas and pods. I showed this outfit to my boyfriend and he said it looked like Braveheart and I got mad. End of story. But literally, I was just like messing with the shapes and the concept of like a strip dress that we have worn to death in 2019. I like the concept of like a high cut tank underneath instead of like the turtlenecks or the shirts we've been wearing a lot. I've seen it done once and damn did it look good. Messing with the concept of the strap down too because you can and i'm adding something messy at the bottom again because i'm a broken record when i get obsessed with different trends and overall let me know what you guys think of some of these outfits what's your opinions i know it's not for everybody but i guess that's our subjective f this outfit was kind of my badass french chick moment i think i just like the colors like an ocean blue jeans with yellow chloe boots and this beige like cropped trench coat look it doesn't show up your figure at all because you've got that big blop on top but i think that's sort of what is empowering about it they just gotta add the attitude then walk 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 <laughs> i am my cult guy purse too i love it because it just seems like something i would have chosen when i was eight very mature this outfit was literally inspired by carelessness this next outfit is like my go-to chill chic outfit <sighs> I love it because it is just so chill. Great vocabulary, Kyoko. The reason I need to have the socks with the heels is because black kind of sucks in the ankles and gives it this elegant ankle action that I think 19th century boys would have loved. And using the pop of red with very basic black and blue jeans, a button down shirt can literally take you places in 2020 with jeans. Also, with all of these outfits, you can literally just choose a concept or a shape or a color and put something together that you have in your own wardrobe. Oh boy, pink pants, pink, pink pants. If you haven't seen this video on how to style pink pants, then here is a link. Um, the great thing about pink is it's just the color of the season and it's not looked down on to style pink with pink everything. These boots are also knee high boots and multi use. Break girl hacks 101. I would have wanted pink shoes too, but alas, these black boots are quiet and gives a sock here run a look I wanted. And because the color is just like such a statement, you really don't need accessorizing or messing with you, you know, you're in a six year old. Here we go, pink, pink, pink part two. Except sort of like rock chick. It doesn't really matter what vibe you go for, it can be like a mean girl pink, illegally blonde blonde pink rock chick pink you get me as long as it's all pink you're pretty much good i wanted to keep the attention on the pink so i matched a bunch of black in there where i couldn't find any more pinks in my wardrobe then that very random piece of orange purely to no fashion advice just because i needed something there because it looked plain but yeah i love this vest because it's literally like a warm hug all day and who doesn't want to be hugged all day Anyway, moving off the pink, sadly. I don't know who decided this rule, but there's a concept. Use your tips as accessories and save major bucks. The hack of the century. Lots of people have been trying this outfit with a white tank and tucking it into brown or green trousers. Kind of like commando, 
and commando. I don't know. I didn't have that obviously, so I just copied the concept and shape with different colors. And because it's such a simple outfit, I want to add something interesting to it. I don't think the tied up pants is very loud so much as it's just plain pretty. So this is me trying to accomplish the Margiela boots look. <sighs> I'm so ashamed. I wish I could spend a thousand dollars on their shoes because I would, but I can't. So here's a cute photo of what this outfit could look like. I think it is just like so elegant to add longer shorts and have the boots rising up your leg underneath. It's like unexpected and very elegant for some reason. With the top, I didn't want anything figure hugging. I wanted to embrace the shoulders, arms, and the collarbones instead. I went for something that kind of showed that off a little. The shorts are Chloe, and the great thing about buying off-season, off-trend designer, it is just so much cheaper because nobody wants it. This look also needed the black purse. The shiny leather just adds this other texture that the outfit simply was lacking. While this may appear too much, the point is these boots are so dimensional. The outfit colors and textures ain't all that wild and I was trying to achieve the top half put together with the suit and the bottom half messy kind of distressed like, like brand new coochies made to look like they've been worn for 20 years. The hoo-ha shoes just did the trick. I had seen somewhere a girl wearing a matching suit combo with like opposite colored shoes on their feet, like super inspiring. Also, realized later on this is outfit seriously lacked jewelry. The top was sort of simple and the shape of it wasn't extremely flattering, so fix it with a watch, some ivory, not really shiny jewelry. Also messing with gold and silvers because that's another broke girl hack. The comfort outfit of 2020. These pants are Vince, but they are literally sweatpants with a drawstring and a shape, which is kind of nice. I guess. <laughs> the fabric is super thick, so it also gives you like a thrumpy look, so I just went all in with a comfortable top. Matching whites, pop of red. Tan also looks really good with white cream. Creative way to wear a scarf. I know, it kind of looks like a bandana, which is kind of the point. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed and got some like really good style tips, and I will see you guys next Friday. No, I will, I will not see you next Friday. Oh my God. Have a good week.